and congratulations to the class of 2023. Lo logramos! What are your plans after graduation? A question that torments us every day as we battle through making it past the last few weeks to cross this dream jump stage. A stage that four years ago seemed almost impossible to reach. Today, you're making the impossible become reality. And although we all went through different journeys, to get to this point, one thing they shared in common was the inner drive to become someone better for ourselves. No matter how hard this journey became, it was because of your determination and hard work that you made it this far. Like all journeys, they don't always work out the way you planned, but I strongly believe that things always happen for a reason. Whether that is because it was not the correct timing or simply because the door was meant to be closed in order for bigger and brighter things to come into your life. My journey was not easy. Growing up as a first generation Latina in a constant survival mode, my fight or flight responses followed me. Combined with the imposter syndrome, it was a constant battle for me to believe that I was deserving of good things in my life. This is a reminder to you that you're deserving of good things in life and to believe that it's true. Consider every step you take as a new opportunity to see what lies ahead of you. Para mis padres y hermanas, este logro es para ustedes. Eso no lo podría haber logrado sin sus sacrificios, esfuerzos y apoyo. Ustedes me pintaron las alas para que pudiera volar. Gracias, mamá y papá. Los quiero mucho. To my parents, this is for you. When my parents arrived in this so-called free country over two decades ago, they had no idea what their lives would become. They simply knew they would make something better of themselves and be the change that their families dreamed of. They have both sacrificed so much in order to give me and my sisters the life they never got to have. It is because of their sacrifices that I'm able to be here today. I'm thankful for the opportunity to honor not only my parents, but the millions of other Hispanic and immigrant parents that share that same story. I'm fortunate to represent my community today and as a reminder that we too deserve freedom and liberty, such as the freedom and liberties that are currently under attack in Florida. Freedom and liberties that have been stripped away from women all over the world for making a decision over their bodies and freedom and liberties that have been lost, trying to make it past their journey to reach the American dream. Pero recuerden que aunque no les guste, pertenecemos aquí y estamos aquí para quedarnos. Today, hundreds of us beat the odds and many of you are breaking barriers. Not only did you make it, but you managed to show those who doubted you, who didn't believe in you, and who said you wouldn't make it to this point that they were wrong. Today, you show them and the world that you're a force to be reckoned with. As you embark on this new beginning and a new journey, remember that it's okay to not be okay, to not know, to not understand, to not have it figured out or know what comes next, as long as you're doing something every day to better yourself. This is our world and we have the power to create the change that we want to see in the world. Congratulations again, class of 2023. Felicidades. I would like to thank the Western Oregon University Graduate Program for this honor and congratulate the entire class of 2023 for their accomplishment. The experience I had here was unlike any previous education I have had before. I say here, but it was entirely online and in my case, not because of COVID. I was fortunate enough to have amazing faculty to guide me through it. I am sure to leave some out, but I'm extremely grateful to my professors and supervisor, Rich Robinson, Misty Weitzel, Taryn Vanderpile, Mari Sakiyama, and Terry Jandrich, especially over this past year working on my thesis. Thank you. I would also like to thank my parents for all their sacrifice and guidance throughout my years. You have both helped me become who I am today. And lastly, I want to thank my wife, Emma. You have been so supportive and patient, and I love you for that. Like I'm sure many of my classmates felt, I was hesitant to pursue my master's at the beginning of all of this. It is an expensive and time-consuming effort once I did decide, it did not take long for me to have second thoughts. Was this necessary? I didn't have to do this. I could be golfing right now. Factor in other responsibilities in life, jobs, family, golfing, football, and you really have to fight back to why you partook in this endeavor. For some, it might have been to learn more about leadership. For others, it might have been because you need to have a master's to receive decent pay as a teacher. Although the process of obtaining your, master, your graduate degree can feel rather complicated, it likely all started with a fairly simple reason. For me, it was to learn more about criminal justice and further my career. Throughout the graduate program, I got the wonderful opportunity to go in depth on many different criminology theories. However, in the world of a juvenile probation officer, 
theories do not always perfectly apply. You do learn why there are so many different theories. That is because there is more than one way for something to be done. It would be difficult to help each of the youth we work with if we are so stuck on fitting them within some predetermined framework, rather than simply their own. Graduates are no different. We all have skills, we all have challenges, and we all have a path to success that should not be constrained by sophisticated concepts and presumptions. Regardless of what field you're in, I would challenge you to have an open mind, be creative, but above all else, keep it simple. Congratulations again, and all the best in the future. Clase de 2023. Quiero felicitar a todos por estar aquí hoy. Hoy es un logro no solo para nosotros, sino también para nuestras familias. Quiero tomar un momento para darle las gracias a mis padres. Sin ellos, no estaría aquí hoy. Gracias por todo. Class of 2023, I want to begin by congratulating everyone for being here today. Today is an accomplishment for reasons that might not be obvious to others. As we all know, college is difficult on its own. And when paired with the various identities, values, and challenges that make us who we are, it becomes all the more difficult. We are all complex individuals with different life stories and backgrounds. And though we may not know each other's stories, we have all endured something to get here. These experiences, in some way or another, have made us who we are today. They are our roots. Within our roots, we can find endurance, perseverance, growth, and resilience. And there is beauty in that. For me, my roots are planted in Washington, Oregon, and Guadalajara. My roots are in being raised in a low-income household and being a daughter of immigrants. They are what have made me who I am today. As we transition into this next phase of our lives, it is important that we carry these experiences with us whether for you that means letting go or learning to embrace. It is not necessarily the memories you must carry, but the lessons. What have you learned about yourself, about the way you view the world, about how you approach life? What lessons are you taking with you? What lessons are you leaving behind? Contrary to what we might think, we each hold so much individual knowledge and strength already. I've learned about my individual strength through my own roots. As a daughter of immigrants, education is something that has always been extremely important to me. Though initially, my definition of success in achieving this goal looked like assimilating to the culture around me, I have learned that achieving success actually looks like building community and learning to embrace my cultural identity. Ultimately, I've learned more from leaning into my roots than I would have by growing away from them. And in doing so, I've been able to cultivate my own new roots. I no longer go out of my way to use fancy words or try to prove that I am capable. Rather, I find myself speaking from the heart more and having comfort in simply knowing that I am capable. Finding my voice as a Latina, as a leader, has been one of the greatest lessons I've learned during my time at WU, and I'm choosing to take that with me. If you're like me, life after graduation is slightly terrifying because it is filled with so much uncertainty. For many of us, this is the first time in four years where we don't know what's next. And although we may not know what the future has in store for us or what our future lessons might be, one thing we do know right now is what we know. We know who we are, we know what we've been through, we know the lessons we have learned along the way. And we can use this in whatever way we choose to, to shape our future and to guide us. The world is scary, but we have already proven our resilience and strength through the ways we have taken our old roots, created new ones, and used them to cultivate our growth. But of course, the growth doesn't stop here. As we take on the world, there will inevitably be more challenges, more obstacles, but also more endurance, more perseverance, more growth, and more lessons. So, class of 2023, let us continue to plant seeds and bloom wherever we may find ourselves as we navigate our futures. Thank you, and once again, congratulations. Felicidades. Members of the board, President Peters, Dean Doherty, faculty, staff, families, guests, and fellow graduates. My name is Pamela Morillo, and I am a graduate of the 2023 OHSU nursing class here at the Western Oregon University campus. My birth country is Colombia, a nation where people work very hard, but opportunities are scarce. I got my first job when I was 15 years old and ever since I have helped support my family. With no education, I knew that I wasn't going to go far, 
So I made the best decision of my life. I started to learn English. I learned enough to land a job as a teacher assistant in Doha, Qatar. That's how, at 21 years old, I had to leave my country, my family, and my friends behind to seek better opportunities. However, a piece of me will forever remain there. Seven years later, I migrated to the United States. I arrived here with one suitcase. For years, I contemplated getting an education, but I kept letting the mental blocks we imposed on ourselves stop me. I told myself I can't afford college, the time isn't right, I am not good at math, and finally, I am too old. When I turned 33, I asked myself, if tomorrow were to be my last day, what would I regret? The next day, I enrolled in community college. I started with math 60. One day, the teacher said, constants to the right and variables to the left. I made a column with numbers on the right and another column with letters on the left. And I stared at that page. I had to dedicate many hours to building my skills, but I didn't give up. I kept fighting back against all the barriers that hindered me. And today, six years later, I am standing in front of you to show you that we can overcome that voice that prevents us from achieving our full potential. For those immigrants like me who leave all behind to look for opportunities to improve the lives of those we love, I want to tell you that it's never impossible or too late to achieve your dreams. And to everyone, I want to say, do not let the voice control your destiny. Thank you.